important social skills that keep them safe in the wild. It's a full-time job for both parents. Head of mammal Don is visiting one of the Tamarin families. What is he doing here? Whoa, whoa, relax, man. He's brought some delicious friends. Oh, nice. I love grapes. These are some of the rarest monkeys in the world, so any new additions to the family are priceless. Just like the babies Gabby and Lowry had last year. This is Gabby. Hello. This is Lowry. Greetings. These are the little miracle babies that we have and rear these little ones here. See that call there, little begging call. You make a break. <laughs> What's quite unique among cameras is that the adults will offer their food to the young people. Give it to Dad. Papa, Papa, give me the break. Have you got that? I don't need another one. He's taking a See that classic food show. Dad, Dad. I want another one. Why? Not snatching. Happily, another of the female tamarins, Sylvia, is pregnant and due to give birth in a few weeks. Oh, my back is killing me. You don't want to know. After the recent death of her partner, Sylvia has been left as a single mum. The zoo needs to find her a new husband and fast. The wild population is under incredible threat. We need to build up this country population. And we need to support the wild animals. That's so, so important. If Sylvia doesn't find a new husband by the time she gives birth, her babies may not survive, as she won't be able to look after them properly or by herself. Don's first thought is a solution that's really close to home. I mean, the option is we could take Larry out for a short period of time to pair with Sylvia to help with that. Because lion tamarins are so focused on the infant care, they will raise infants for, even though they're not their own. Well, I'm up for that. How did you have? You are going nowhere until you finish bearing up the head. I the problem with the tamarind groups are very, very territorial. It might be very difficult to bring Larry back into this group. Maybe we should sign her up for tamarinds in need of devotion to fight in romance or kingdom or so. Dawn has just two months to find a suitable match for Sylvia and bring him over to Jess. If you have taken a request, I'd like one to know how to cook and do the arms. This is a massive deal. We've got one of the rarest monkeys on the planet. She's going to be giving birth. We're going to unknown territory. She's got no one to help her, apart from us. The race is on to find a stepdad for Sylvia's babies when they're born and give them a fighting chance to survive. Time for a short break now, but still to come. Dadu, the star orangutan, leaves his fans waiting. Mm, kill them all the up later, probably. And the search to find Sylvia a new mate is in full swing. I hope he's a smart actor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hot 
Greatest summer ever with straight off the cinema sizzlers. It's got a brand new stash. The Virgin Media Store, only entertainment you love. Welcome back to Tales from the Zoo. I'm Zorba the Tortoise, and I live here along with many of my chatty friends. Alright. Watch out. A very good day for you. Summer is the busiest time here at the zoo. The sun is out, the public are out, but one of our star attractions isn't. Dado the orangutan is one of the zoo's biggest draws. When there's more than plenty for room to, he lives here with his two wives and his children, Janto, Jiwa, and Pia. Hello!